This is a broadhead bowl lathe. I've made many innovations. One is a tool holder you see there, and the other is the belt and guard. There's a variable frequency drive that allows you to adjust it with a button up and down. The switch underneath, you can go forward and reverse. Uh, very nice feature for bowl turning or any kind of turning. We're roughing the bowl out now. Uh, the face plate is made of maple and it's glued to the teak with a piece of paper in between which allows you to take it uh, off very, very easily with no damage. We're machining the outside of the bowl now and shortly we'll be doing the recess. The recess will be measured, uh, machined to uh, 5 inches so that it'll fit concentrically onto the face plate which is made out of another piece of maple. Uh, five inches in diameter with a rubber gasket on it. I've sealed it with the vac uh, masking tape because it just sucked right through the wood before. Um, shortly you'll see me measuring the uh, recess. I bought these calipers when I had about 18 or 19. I'm now 80. Well, yeah, I am 80. And uh, they were. Uh, it's actually pretty level. That's good enough. Well, we're almost finished turning. I'm going to do a little sanding. This is a homemade sander. has no power. It just works from the rotation of the workpiece itself. It turns in a brass uh, sleeve with a ball bearing at the end for the shaft to rotate against. works very nicely. Uh, now I'm sanding a little bit more and taking this As off. I mentioned before, um, I've got paper on here and the purpose is to uh, allow me to split this off easily. And there it is. This is the recess being fit onto the wooden faceplate I talked about before. It uh, registers it for concentricity. You just turn the valve on the uh, vacuum system and it chucks it right on. No problems. We're going to uh, be machining it with a uh, right angle grinder chainsaw device that I made up to rough it out with so that it wouldn't kick it off as with conventional tools. There's the right angle grind grinder and the, and the setup. Uh, there is the faceplate. It shows you how I made the faceplate. Very simple to make. That's the bowl. This is the uh, vacuum system uh, shown in my old shop. You've got a bearing to keep the hose from twisting around. The pump comes through the vacuum tube, uh, through the spindle, and onto the uh, faceplate we showed you a moment ago. This is an adapter from uh, 3 quarter 16 to 1 and a half by 8 as I have a tap for the 1 and a half by 8. And these face plates are very simple to make as you can see. And that's about the end of my demonstration.